So now we're doing what? A, a uh, squash soup? This is soup? going to be a squash soup. You can use different squashes. You can also use a pumpkin if you want. Mm -hmm. We have this wonderful squash. It's actually left over from the um, Christmas um, root vegetables that we are right now um, baking in the oven. Mm -hmm. So I thought a squash soup is something fantastic. Yeah. This can go in the compost, yeah. but also uh, if you don't want to have a lot of little squash plants, which may happen in yeah. your own compost, then just throw it in the garbage. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here, um, I'm going to peel the squash, and how this is peeled is very simple. This is actually not the best thing for a beginner. Go like this. Go down here. Peel it like that little sections okay and then cut it in chunks same thing here always make sure you have a flat surface hold on to it and that way you do not hurt yourself when you peel it like this okay sometimes mm -hmm. I have to turn it around so okay so, and we'll come back when we have all this done, and then I'll show you how to do the squash soup. Okay. 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 What do we have here it's now? Yep. Yeah. I took the squash, yeah. just covered it in water, and cooked it until it is hopefully, yeah, soft. Salt okay. or salt soft. or anything? No, I didn't put any salt just, in it. It's fine the way it is. Purified yeah. water? Yeah. Okay. So, now we'll bring this over here. Yeah. And we'll start cooking. Turn it on. Take some butter. Mm -hmm. Good chunk of butter. Okay. Um, onion. And in this case, I like the onion quite fine. Onions always add a nice body to everything, right? This is a very good device. I've used it before. Mm. Right. And add it to here. It's always good when you do messy stuff like that to put glo gloves on. Yeah. Okay. So Keeps the food a little more. Yeah. Two. Okay. okay, so we'll deal with this and let it sweat the onion a little bit so it's kind of glassy, glassy appearance. Mm -hmm. Okay. It doesn't take long, eh? Yeah, let's just do that for a while and then come back. Okay. Good enough, the way it is. Sweating okay. nicely. Yeah. Very nicely. Very nice, yeah. mm -hmm. So that was about three or four minutes. Yeah, not long. Yeah. Now we'll add this to it. Mm -hmm. okay. I thought you would have pureed that or something. Uh, after, it just fall after, apart? Oh, after. Okay. Yeah. Here I have some um, very good beef stock that I make myself. Right. Um, and then I can it in a pressure canner. Okay. Yeah. Some beef what stock if you didn't have here? that? You could, well, then you'd you have it? to. I Oxo guess they sell it. I've never bought. No, don't use Oxo. Um, mm -hmm. No, I hate to slam them. But um, better is Maggie. It's a little Nor. better if you want. Yeah. Or How just water Nor? and salt. Okay. Knorr. Yeah. Knorr is good too. So that's what we have here. Now, what we need is some salt, always. And some pepper in here. Okay. Some paprika. Okay. And some nutmeg.
Because that make always goes good with pumpkin yeah, and stuff. Yeah, very there. good with pumpkin. Also with potatoes, you know, mashed potatoes. See what you could do is I'll take this here. Mm -hmm. I'll go like this. But I think we have to put it through the, through the blender yeah. after. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, we'll bring this up to a, to a boil. Yeah. Doesn't need long at all. See here, I have some sour cream, if you like to have a look here. One of them has sour cream. This is almost used up, so yeah. I add that much to it. I use this here right away. As I said, you know, our cooking is not TV cooking, really. A little flour, blend it together, make a paste. Oops, I'm too temperamental here. Sour cream with flour. Sour cream okay. is flour. Yeah. A little more, maybe. Just have a look. You know, you don't want it gooey, but you want to have a nice creamy soup. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. And when this is done. Like yeah. Well, we have gas here, so that's yeah. quick, right? Look at it. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. So now you take this. And always when you add flour to something, you have to bring it up to a boil for a minute or so mm -hmm. in order to cook the flour. If the flour is not cooked, it tastes kind of, um, it, it tastes doughy, right. right? And you don't want that. Like a dumpling. Yeah, so here we have this. And the other thing we'll put in right away I have some frozen dill here because we're in the middle of winter. We don't have fresh dill. Mm -hmm. Put some dill in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now what I do at this point, I cheat a little bit because my um, my beef soup. I'm going to turn it off for a moment. My beef soup is not salted. So I'm going to use one soup cube from Knorr. Okay. It really gives it a nice taste and just crumple it in there. Bring it to a boil. Okay. Would you have done that if I didn't mm -hmm. mention? Um, I yeah, always north, do it, but sometimes do it. I don't like to do it because yeah. I'm a purist. Yeah. I like to to just season with salt and pepper, yeah. and, you know, in my own herbs, not yeah. with nor. Yeah. But I think in this case it will give a good body to okay. the whole thing, right? So now I'm gonna get my immersion pleasure. If you want to go back just a moment here, I'm just going to plug it in, in the blender. Here. Yeah. And you have to keep it down, don't lift it up. Yeah. Well, I thought you were going to dump it through a blender. Yeah, yeah, easier. yeah. I just saw the immersion blender over there. Yeah. I thought this is much easier. Don't have to dirty so much stuff, but the real blender blends it much better than the immersion blender. But if you blend long enough, you get the same effect, right? right. Look what a wonderful looking soup this is, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to dish it up. It tastes fantastic, I know it does. show here see uh, well this is still has some but we don't want to waste so much time you know this is should yeah. be totally smooth which Very actually nice. is wait a moment what you do is you take some whipped cream yeah and you go like this and you put some dill on top wow. and that's how you serve it very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I think I'm going to eat that one. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>